It's 4 p.m. here in Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. Welcome to the News Blitz, our top stories. Chamisa begs Sadak for inter-party dialogue. Teenage mother in week-long labor finally delivers. Bernaboy cancels South Africa concert over xenophobia. And in sport, Antipas resigns as Warriors coach. We'll find out shortly. Zimbabwe's main opposition, the Movement for Democratic Change, wants SADC to facilitate dialogue between the party and the ruling Sanu PF government. MDC leader Nelson Chamisa revealed this while addressing supporters during what the party termed Hope of the Nation Address. Chamisa said the MDC will not participate in the ongoing political dialogue being facilitated by the National Peace and Reconciliation Commission. And this is why we are asking for SADC to scaffold the process in Zimbabwe to come together and have a national dialogue, a dialogue that is genuine and proper, not Poland. Poland is a sideshow. We must have the main show. The main show is the dialogue between ZANPF and MDC, and then include every other citizen in the way forward that we need to see. Still on politics, ZANU-PF has said there will be no foreign guests at its upcoming National People's Conference. Party spokesperson Ambassador Simon Kayamoyo spoke to ZTN. We, we have got guests who will be invited, but for the Congress, normally uh, not, not for the conference. And we are hoping to meet this week. Uh, we thought we were going to meet today, but uh, the, as you know, the boss is still is not to stay where they had gone to, is still not back. Let's to get today. But uh, we shall know when the political is because uh, the gate, we are getting near the, the time. Following teachers' threats of prematurely ending the third school term in Zimbabwe over unpaid bonuses, government says it will stick to its promise. In a statement, the Public Service Commission said all civil servants' bonuses will be paid this November. In his 2020 budget statement, Finance and Economic Development Minister Professor Mtulingube announced that civil servants will be paid bonuses inclusive of all their benefits. After enduring labor pains for a week and being tossed from one hospital to another on account of a suspected STI and a life-threatening pregnancy complication, a 17-year-old orphan girl from Bare in Harare has finally given birth. The girl, who cannot be named for professional reasons, gave birth to a bouncing baby girl through caesarean delivery at Harare Hospital on Tuesday night. Two Good Samaritan doctors, Anthony Machakaire and Claudia Sverenga, intervened to assist the desperate teenager after appeals by ZTN. She named her child Chido after our reporter, Patience Chido Namburo, who brought her plight to light. <laughs> Two concerts in South Africa expected to feature Nigerian star Burna Boy have been cancelled following increasing threats of violence. He had been scheduled to appear at what were dubbed the Africans Unite concerts in Cape Town and Pretoria at the weekend. The announcement that he was going to appear had attracted controversy in September during a wave of xenophobic violence in South Africa. Burna Boy had vowed not to go to South Africa again until the government wakes up. Zimbabwe Premier League log leaders Caps United will host city rival Dynamos in the Kasalaga Premier Soccer League match day 32 scheduled for this weekend. The Harare Derby will be played at the National Sports Stadium on Sunday. Only two games have been scheduled for Saturday featuring Bulawayo Chiefs versus Chikanen and Harare City versus Yadam. That's all we had on ZTN News Blitz. Join us tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching.